Please give it up for uh, the founder of Somnox. It's Julian Yachtenberg. Good morning, everyone. Ah, I just had the great night rest. My name is uh, Julian. Let me just uh, quickly get my pajamas off. There we go. So, uh, welcome. And I would like to tell you the story behind Somnox, a company that creates soft robotics that contribute to health and well being. And today I would like to take you into the future of sleep, what the bedroom will look like in 2025. So my name is Julian, I'm 22 years old, I'm one of the founders of Somnox and I have studied industrial design engineering and during my bachelor's degree I attended the minor of robotics where we were uh, faced with a personal problem, namely that of sleep deprivation. Since I was a little boy I always wanted to become this guy. I think in English his name is Gary Gearloose and in Dutch it's Willy Wortel. Um, I wanted to be an inventor, and the University of Technology was the place to go to. I mean, you had the Nuon Solar team, you had all kinds of crazy inventions that came from this very university. So I, I was very proud and honored that I was accepted in the Faculty of Industrial Design Engineering. Because then I could make the, the dream of being an inventor a dream, and get those crazy ideas out there that would actually make an impact. But I wasn't just an inventor, I wanted to come up with ideas, but an inventor actually keeps the idea within his garage, I would say. I wanted to become an entrepreneur as well, and an entrepreneur doesn't just keep his idea in his garage, no, he wants to share it, he wants to make impact and get it to the market as quickly as possible. So this is actually the picture where it all started. This is the team where it all started. Four engineers that were looking super cute, right there, uh, I'm the one up above where I have a laser. Awesome. Um, this was at the minor presentation in the Faculty of Industrial Design and Engineering. And it was a very, um, let's say, motivated team that actually wanted to get the most out of it. Like it, was, it wasn't just a, a university project, it was actually quite a unique project because everyone was super dedicated. And this is where it all started because at this point we presented our idea of the robot. And that is where Virality and all kinds of media approached us, saying, hey, can we write about this? I'm desperately looking for a solution that can help me sleep. So before I begin to talk about what our sl soft sleep robot does, I would like to get to know what is a robot. Okay? For most of you guys, a robot is probably this guy, right? a metal man, or it's made of plastic, it's rigid, and it, it's probably not something you would go to bed with. Well. We believe in robots that are soft, actually these guys. It's a very unique and new stream within the robotics industry, and it's called soft robotics. This is my personal hero, it's Baymax. Raise your hand if you love Baymax as well. Hell yeah, that's like 60%, awesome. If, you, if not, watch the movie Big Hero 6. But soft robotics are robotics that aren't necessarily rigid and are harmful, but they are uh, beings that you can actually touch, that you can interact with, um, that you can actually cuddle, just like Baymax here does. And if I'm talking about going to bed with a robot, you probably think of something like this. Right? You think, oh, this is this lonely engineer, he's made a sex robot. <laughs> sex does help you get to sleep very quickly, but it's not what we made. Um, and of course, some WD-40 to get it all smooth. But this is not what I make. I'm not making a sex robot. Let's that make that clear for forever. Um, we're making soft robotics that contribute to health and well-being. So what does this mean? Well, we want to make companion robotics. Things that are not necessarily a piece of plastic, but that you actually have some kind of relationship with, that you can fall in love with. And to actually measure whether we uh, achieved our goal, we say that it should have the same emotional status as a pet. And to measure this, it should be just as brutal to throw a cat in the fire as throwing our robot in the fire. So only after we reach this point, we will have the same emotional status as that of a pet. 
So I'm curious what you guys will do if I throw this in, in the fire at the end of the show. Anyways, the problem that we're solving is that of sleep deprivation. And it's a personal problem since um, I know friends and family members that were suffering from insomnia and they took these addictive pills that were helping them sleep but didn't give them the quality sleep that they needed to live a happy and healthy life. And it's one out of five people, so probably one-fifth of you guys are suffering from sleep deprivation as well. And it's, it's an issue because if you don't sleep well, you are not able to live a happy and productive life. You can become sick, you can get depressed, even heart disease. And you see it all over the news lately. It's, it's costing us money, it's bad for your health. So please don't be funny about sleep deprivation. It's a, it's a serious problem and it should be treated as such. But at this moment, it's limited to this addictive medication. So therefore, I wanted to do something for, in my case, my mom, to help her get to sleep rather than taking uh, these pills. So I went to the drawing table, and with the vision of soft robotics in mind, I was like, how can I help my mom? And then Sumnox came to be, the Sumnox sleep robot. And it's world's first sleep robot to help you fall asleep faster, sleep longer, and wake up energized. And I will briefly tell you how it does so. So you snuggle up with it at night, and once you do so, you will be offered with the following features. It's breathing regulation, it's soothing audio, and affection. So as soon as you spoon it, you will actually feel the physical sensation of breathing. And in our studies, we have proven that feeling this breathing rhythm actually makes you subconsciously adjust your own breathing rhythm accordingly. And this is super interesting, because in that way, we can reduce your stress levels and increase relaxation. Next to that, we also have audio, so it can play heartbeats, it can play music or a boring political debate that works like a charm. It will actually turn off the moment you fall asleep, which you can set through the mobile application that comes with it. So we have a team of 18 people now. This is not all of them. We're looking very happy. And we actually, in the back, in the upper right corner, that's Philip Hess. He's one of the inventors of the Storm uh, Umbrella, Sense. Maybe you are familiar with uh, that uh, product. And now he is working for us. So where it started with the four guys in the front, which the picture I showed you just a, a, a while ago, we're now with 18 people. And it's amazing to see this dream, dream team coming together of people that actually want to help people sleep. And that that is the motivation and the mission that we together get into. So we also recently partnered with Alping, which is a, a partner and also making uh, beds to help people sleep better. So it was a very logical step to join forces, and they're actually helping us out with producing our robotic. And we will be de delivering our product in July this year. So it just didn't just stop there. We had a major viral all around the world. We had China, Japan, Russia coming in. We even had a retarded Facebook video. We didn't make this ourselves which was viewed over 8 million times. 8 million, that's crazy. So we got so many emails of people approaching us, and it was all during our minor, okay? So I'm not sure what will happen to one of you guys, but th this can happen if you, if you have the ambition. And people send us emails like, I'm so desperately looking for a solution. Can you please make this, or can I try and test your prototype? And this was really our starting point to, to join Yes Delft. And they helped us from becoming an engineer to becoming an entrepreneur, helping us form the business plan and get the most out of the idea that we have. In January, we attended CES together with the prince, uh, Prince Constantine. And this was an amazing journey because we had the world at our feet. And at night, I would bring the prototypes to the hotels of journalists and during the day, these journalists are super busy, you know, they, they don't have the time to talk with you. But during the night, they're all yours. So I gave them our prototype, and I had the chief editor of the Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, Forbes, Fast Company, all sleeping with our robot and writing things about us, which resulted in major media coverage and uh, a community. And a community is something to make use of, because we are co-creating our product together with people that are suffering from sleep deprivation. So they helped us design the shape, the feature set. And in the end, the community even helped us realize the whole supply chain. So we did crowdfunding, and through crowdfunding, we raised in total uh, 200K to make the molds. And we are at this moment producing uh, with uh, the supply chain all over the world uh, and sales all over the world. So this is all seems nice, right? It's me being awesome, telling, telling awesome stuff about myself. It's a bit arrogant, isn't it? But it's really the tip of the iceberg, what I just showed you. 
Because what's underneath, behind all this awesome stuff and milestones that you will probably see on Twitter and Facebook, there's a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. You need to do concessions. You need to realize that there is 70 hours of work each week. Um, you have less free time. There are bumps. Not all the time it's about success. There are a lot of failures as well. We, at one point, our device, our sleep robot, was snoring. You know that sound? It didn't help you fall asleep at all. And we didn't know how to figure it out, how to get such a mechanical movement totally silent. Because in the bedroom, you don't want to hear anything. And we have been working for six months to get this thing silent, and it wasn't working, and we were about to give up. But you just need to be persistent and keep continuing doing your work to get at some point that it will work. It's, it's, you, you will have nights that you are not able to sleep, although you have a sleep robot, because of all the stressful decisions that you need to make. Therefore, celebrate failure. Really, guys, if I want to give you one p uh, piece of advice, it's do your stuff. Just, just If you have a good idea, don't wait. Don't be like, oh, I'm insecure. I don't want to. You should do it. You should just try. And if you fail, you have learned a great lesson. And it's a lesson that you won't learn in these kind of lecture rooms. You need to go out there, talk with your customers, and they will tell you if your idea is good or whether it sucks. And there's a nice quote by Eric Rice of the Lean Startup, and it says, the only way to win is to learn faster than anyone else. And I think this is a piece of advice that you should write on your belly. <laughs> I I've actually didn't do that. But uh, in that way, you will always be the best. So learn, act, fill, and then also sometimes win. So that's also my advice. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. It's a cliche, but it's true. So hopefully, one of you bachelor students, you can also start a company. You don't need to be a PhD. You don't need to be a master student. If you are motivated and have a certain mission and vision in, in mind, just go for it. Go to Yes Delft and make things happen. I should, what? Seemed really, seemed very done, seemed very done. And one more thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, you can win your own some socks, which I'm wearing right now, by sharing what you thought about the presentation through sumlocks.nl slash share, and you might be sh shining in these socks as well. So get your phones out, share what you think. Thank you. <laughs>